So our last speaker is Whit Diffie, whose title is Wit on John. Is that still your title? Well, look at that. Good work. <laughs> so I apologize for the title. Les Ernest chided me for it when I submitted it, but then he went and put it in without chiding me again. Uh, I subsequently realized the title should have been a few things I thought of at the last minute while I was listening to other people talk. And I, I could have known that six weeks ago and submitted that title at the beginning. As I listened to these talks and think about this, I realized, and I had not realized this before, that there probably is nobody in my life who's had more influence on me than John has. Just half a dozen points. One, John gets the most credit for the development of the Lisp language. Anybody who hasn't looked, incidentally, ought to recognize that major failure, failing of Lisp is a marketing failure. If you link, look at things that did not become popular until approximately the era of Java, you find that they're, they're all there in Lisp. And if you know, it had had a, uh, had a marketing force as good as Sun was back then behind it, it would have done much better. I, I found Lisp so satisfactory that, with the possible exception of tech, I mean, basically, I, it's the only language I've ever used except for uh, the uh, PDP-6 machine code in which it was written when I encountered it. The second thing that I learned from John, and I don't remember exactly the reason. I mean, I know the upshot. The upshot was that I came here to Stanford, but I got, I'm pretty sure it's from things John wrote that I realized that the proof of correctness of programs was the most important problem in contemporary engineering. Um, and I still think that. Uh, and I came to talk to John. I came to the AI lab. I worked at the AI lab for three years. And I might be, feel less gratitude about John's having gotten in, into that problem, because if anybody's been watching, it has, it's made progress in 40 years, but not that much progress, and I don't think my presence in the field would have made the difference. But John also got me out of it. He came back from uh, Washington in the uh, uh, late summer of 1972 with uh, a fresh excitement over network security inspired by a disagreement between Larry Roberts and NSA over, you know, terms of doing research on the subject for ARPANET. And uh, six months later, I was uh, still, you know, all the time we all thought that meant cryptography and six months later I was working on nothing else and I had stopped working on proof of correctness and you know, John and I came to a parting of the ways, and I have told this story in much longer, uh, much greater depth than other places, but in brief, you know, I went off, I began traveling around the country, uh, I met my wife Mary, who's standing over there, and we came back to Stanford, and just when we needed it, John went off to uh, Japan, and left us his house so we could take care of his daughter, Sarah, who was perfectly capable of taking care of herself, except she was about 14 and couldn't drive. So, you know, California, you can't drive, you can't live. So, uh, And I, I, I don't know if I've ever had a better assignment. I was house husband. Mary was working for British Petroleum, supported us. And I would, my job was not only cooking and stuff, but complete reorganization of the house, and that left plenty of time over a 43-month period for thinking and led to, to my work on public key cryptography, and I've been making a living off of that ever since. John, you know, back when this was just an idea, basically, it was much harder to persuade people that it could be done than it is now when it's a a mainstay currency of network communication. And John was the only person I remember who understood it instantly, recognized that indeed it could be done. Um, and the, the final thing is John gives good family. Uh, all three of his families, but you know, the first one has a big head start in, uh, in time and therefore in numbers. Uh, if anything, I, I find myself closer to them. They're easier to be closer to than John was. So I... Uh, I have regrets, but I have a continuing blessing. Thank you. Thank you.